Good evening guys, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. This evening I'm just uh, chilling out in Pond Farm 2, my C22 farm here. It is a Tuesday and building day and um, there is a reason that I'm just in this farm at the moment. So I've been working on upgrading the farm the last kind of seven days. I upgraded it to C22 last week. And I think I'm in a good position now to upgrade it to C23. I will have to use some gems, but that's fine. I've got 190,000 in here. Um, so it's not an issue. I've upgraded some of my storages. Um, so let's have a look. I just wanted to kind of do this video and show you what kind of, for those of you that are lower levels, what requirements you're going to need for a C22 going up to C23. And also kind of talk about the benefits that you're going to get from doing that. So let's have a look at um, what the requirements are. I've already done some buildings, so bear that in mind. Um, so the buildings that you need to get will be an iron mine up to level 22, which is fine because you should be really maxing your iron mines uh, up as much as you can anyway. And the other thing is, as is regularly the um, as is regularly the case, is that you'll need to make your tavern level 22 as well which means that you'll need to make a house level 22 first so that you can make your tavern level 22. Other than that there's not any other building requirements. In terms of gold and resources you're going to need 25 million gold, 38 million food, 38 million lumber, 3 million charcoal, 76 million on your marble and 57 million on the iron. Um, I've got my capacity for food is a little bit under that, but obviously I've got plenty of food in this farm and my capacity is over for the lumber and I've got enough lumber. Then for marble, again, I'm a little bit short on it, but uh, that's not gonna be an issue. And same, and I've got, I'm a little bit under on the iron as well. What have I got? I've got 56. So yeah, I'm only, and my, my capacity is about five less. So. I think uh, nine days as well to upgrade, nine days, five hours. So it's probably looking at maybe 70 or 80,000 diamonds. Now, obviously, for those of you that are not hardcore players, I would like to reiterate that you don't have to do what I'm doing. You know, you, most of you will know I've already got Pom Farm at C25. I never even used it as a farm currently. That I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with it, to be honest. I don't use it. It hasn't got T9 yet, but I am working towards T9. Once I've got T9, then maybe I'll do some raiding with it once I've got a half-decent legion. Um, or maybe I'll just drop it into Bow BOW, and um, it can be a farm that just generates a crazy amount of resources. I don't know. Um, my other farms, my other six farms, as you can see, I've got C22, three C21s, two C20s. Again, with those, you know, I'm just building them up because the more, the higher the levels, okay, you've got that initial expenditure, but the higher the levels they go, then the higher the resources are going to generate, the bigger rewards you get. I'm completing zone com in them, and that's going to obviously impact as well. Uh, plus, I do a lot of national quests, as you can just see there. I've got a national quest coming back to this account right now, and I'm level, I've just gone up to level 92 in uh, Pom Farm 2 and I've got two points to spend, yay. But I won't do that now. Um, let's have a think about now, for those of you that are growing up through the game, there is one key difference uh, which between C22 and C23, which is why you want to go up to C23. And let's go into here on the system. And can you see every day, obviously, if you're doing Clash of Province, and your state wins in the morning you get a victory in clash of zones message from isabel and as you can see your zone is the victor in the clash of province and when you win you get rewards daily rewards for the victory right at c22 you're going to get 600 gems one arp shield five advanced recruitment tickets courage medals hero xp some resources gold training speed ups. I'm not going to go through all the exact details of the differences between C22 and C23. You guys can work that out for yourselves. And to be honest, that's they're, they're not major points other than when you get to C23, and this is the same at C24, if you win a day on Clash of Province in your victory in Clash of Zone rewards, you will get two super recruitment tickets. 
huge difference to your advanced recruitment tickets, guys, right? Because with the super recruitment tickets, you can use those in the seasonal recruitment events. You can build up to having 100 and, and getting yourself a guaranteed S hero. Or you can just use more on a Thursday if you're looking to gain more points or, or you're wait, you know, you're in an earlier level, you're in the game at, uh, maybe, you know, during S1 and you're not too bothered about getting those S1 heroes, but you're trying to finish some of your other uh, normal orange heroes, regular orange heroes, particularly if you're not a big spender, then generating these extra super recruitment tickets at levels 23 and 24, they're going to make a big difference. And... When you get to C25, you actually get three tickets a day. Um, on Sundays, you get five tickets if you win. That's a that's a you know a decent amount that you're getting. That's 19 tickets a week that you can get. Um, no, I'm lying. It's 17 <laughs> tickets a week. Six times two plus uh, five. So you know it's it's worth investing in doing this. And Pond Farm Two. I mean, I've finished I've finished Zone Common it. And I'm kind of chipping away at doing research on, on Research Legions 2 and 3 so that I can uh, max those Legions at some point. Then I can even, you know, obviously the larger the load on the Legions, the more I can collect. And also the less uh, active I need to be in the account, particularly with the Legions. Uh, you know, I'm nearly getting very, I'm getting very close to level 100 in uh, National Quest. I can already do three quests a day in this account. And I'm getting lots of buffs from that. And I'm helping my state as well uh, in terms of the chapter unlocks with this account. So there's not a lot more that I need to really do in this farm with National Quest. So I'm kind of getting to the end stage of it where if I want to make it a C25, uh, then I can. I don't need the resources from it for my main. It's just if other players in my alliance are asking for the resources. So that's kind of where I am with this account. Um I know it's a bit of a weird one. I'm sure some of you are scratching your heads going, this guy's just making farms up and up and up. But I, I kind of set my goal. I'm overseer for my alliance and I always set my goal that I would um, invest in upgrading my account so that they could generate huge amounts of resources. I always develop my um, the, the development heroes in these accounts, such as Fur Trader, Missionary, uh, missionary uh, you know, all of these kind of guys, as I've said before. So I'm maxing that generation. Um, I'm, you know, I'm maxing troop numbers. I'm getting, you know, a decent balance with that, and obviously the gold production as well. I've got five traders in my farms and one, and uh, one architect. You know, there you go. Two hundred. I've got two hundred and forty-five million gold in this one farm. Um, and that's kind of like my ethos to it. But for you guys, if you're not as active, farms, of course getting them to C16 or if you want them to have the, um, you know, getting your dragon buildings like the Dragon Slayer to protect your farms against bolts, against, um, sorry, they, so they have bolts, so they're protected against dragon shouts in Reign of Chaos and you can use your farms as defensive elements. Uh, you know, if we had a if we had another Reign of Chaos season now, most of my farms are going to be able to help in defense in a big way, uh, for sure. And I probably will bring this farm up to T8, I won't do it to T9, that would just be ridiculous, but uh, you know, they can they could actually be active in, in helping my main alliance for sure, that's that's always been my kind of thinking about it, when I when I first started opening all these farms, developing them, I didn't even know about Eden to be honest uh, we weren't even at that stage of the game so uh, you know, they they could help in Eden or, they, or we could even put BOW into an Eden map and we might have a decent chance of uh, getting some rewards, but again, I guess yeah, you get you get resource rewards, but it would be a lot of effort, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. So, anyway, I've kind of gone on a random chat about farms today. I haven't really done a video about farms in ages, so I, uh, some of my guides to farms are really early on, and I thought I'd just uh, do do a quick video today. So let's get this guy up to C twenty three. I can't remember if I did my hundred percent boost. Yes, I did. 10 minutes ago so I definitely need to get this going so let's just uh, upgrade and get our resources in here of course guys you know uh, I'm close to completing my first hundred videos on the channel and uh, I'm racing towards 850 subscriptions so I would like to say thank you very much for all of your support it's been fantastic and I had like a lot of response to 
uh, my previous videos about uh, tiles in, in particular. And I, you know, just please do, do message me if you want me to do um, anything on specific things. I know I've got someone that's requested accessories production, which I will do very soon. And of course, I'm working through my season hero guides. I know, you know, you guys have been asking for guides on X heroes and things like that. And I will get to that. We've only got uh, 6S3 and 6S4s to get through. And then, and then I'll be on the, on the SX heroes and I'll be able to do them in more detail. So that won't be too long, I'm, I'm sure. So I've got all the I've got all the resources loaded up now. Um, as you can see, it's a significant investment to get up to C23. But then I'll be able to get more super tickets in this account and have, hopefully have a bit more fun with it. I am trying to uh, build up my legions and uh, yeah, just just have a bit of fun. Really, I've got Brave in one of my legions. I don't have him awakened or anything, but it'd be pretty cool to pick him up if I could. Um, yeah, so. 60,000 gems, so I'll still have 130,000 gems left, so that's that's fine. And there we go, guys. That's that's a couple more main tasks ticked off as well. Oh, there you go. So getting to C23, you're going to get 6 million gold on the main task, 680,000 food, woohoo, 680,000 lumber, 340,000 iron, and 450,000 marble. One thing I always think is, you know, these resource rewards for all of these main tasks are an absolute joke. I mean, come on, can't you give like a million iron for someone that's just invested probably 120 million iron in doing all the upgrades to get to this? And then you get 340,000 back. I mean, it's a joke. Six million gold, though, not going to complain at that. And I've done, I haven't done an hourly. I've literally just missed the hourly, haven't I? What an idiot. There you go. Always another top tip from me. Always check that you're not in the first five minutes of a new hour when you do an upgrade on your building so that you miss the hourly rewards because that is a massive schoolboy error by me there. I'm up to 100 million points for the day in this farm. Am I going to get 56 million points uh, to unlock nine chests? I don't have enough resources to kind of uh, put that in. I'm completely out of marble and iron in here for the for a while i probably could upgrade some buildings but it'd be stretching it and i i don't think it's really necessary um so there you go that's another c23 farm and oh i didn't get a red envelope oh yeah i did there we go red envelope thank you very much 141 free gems and uh i'm not the only castle to get to i'm not the only farm to get to c23 today because my mate Robin, also, he got a red envelope for hit getting his castle, his farm one to C23 today as well. So well done, Robin. Uh, so our, our BOW alliance is uh, it's a nice, strong alliance. And um, by the way, just a reminder to all you guys. Uh, oh, that's just a national request. Um, just a reminder to all you guys that we are now full. As you can see, 100 members. So any of you that are watching my um, video about level 10 resource tiles and coming to a farm please do not come to state 55 unfortunately um our alliance is full and um the other farm alliances don't have the ability to do level 10 tiles so save yourself those free teleports and as i suggested in that video as well you'll need to discuss it try and do some research um, maybe ask on the all state discord map i know there's some um players from imm in state 47 that are on there now i know that there's some players from state 46 uh, state 6 state 2 there's various older state players that are, are are part of that discord group and um they might be able to help you out as well but i mean like i said in that original video there's no there's no guarantees i'm afraid so this has been a bit of a you know usually i speak about a very specific topic and kind of go through in a bit of a regimented way and today this has been more of a bit of a generalized video which included a bit of useful information showing you guys what happens when you go from c22 to c23 so i hope you've enjoyed this video and um, thank you very much for watching if you haven't already please do subscribe ring that bell share my channel in your alliance chat in your province chat and through your whatever you use on socials uh, whether it be discord line or whatsapp to communicate between your alliance i'd really appreciate it thank you so much Really hoping we can push towards that 1,000 subscribers in the next week or so. That would just be unbelievable. I'm uh, really thankful for all the support and 
goodwill that's been uh, given since I've started the channel. It's been uh, fantastic. Thank you again. And that's everything for this video, guys. And I will see you soon.